um, there was like one podcast where you said that you actually wash your body every day. Is that true? Yeah. What? Not every day. Are it, you it, sure? It, it depends. So usually, like at my current state right now, I don't separately wash my body. Okay. So I just shower. Yeah. And I, I now use body wash. Okay. I used to not use body wash, <laughs> but now I have separate body wash and I love it. <laughs> Uh-huh. And I always shampoo and then I body wash every 48 hours approximately. Just today, I didn't do it for like three or three and a half, four days. Okay. That okay. was one. So I didn't shower, I didn't wash my body for four days. Okay, that's fine. I'll be very honest. That's fine. But if I'm like seeing, you know, if I'm around people, uh-huh. if I'm going to be and I don't want to wash my hair, uh-huh. I have a couple tactics. Okay. Um, so if I'm dirty, uh-huh. but I need my hair to look clean. Yeah. You take this amount of hair, okay, and then you go like this. Genius. Okay, and it's called a yeah. half. It's called a half shower. Oh, you half stick your shower. hair in the sink because this is <laughs> when, when yes. your hair looks. Yes. Oh yes yes yes, 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 I I do this all the time. Before this dry shampoo, this is what I would do all the time. The half shower. Everybody knows this. Everybody knows the half shower. Are you kidding me? If you don't know the half shower, you're lying. Or I, I don't know. Okay. I would do this all the time because my bangs would get so greasy when I used to have like more prominent bangs because now I'm trying to like grow them out for like the hundredth time in my life. And I will like put it all up and I will just grab my bangs and then I'll go in the sink and I'll grab a little shampoo and then I wash it and then I put just the bangs in front of the faucet and then I take the dryer and I dry it and then nobody knows. Because, like, mostly when you're talking to people, people will only really notice greasiness if it's here. It's fucking, it's, it is gross. Shut the fuck up. Like, women can't even have hobbies anymore. Unbelievable. When your hair looks greasy, yeah. be honest, it's just the front. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but when you have hella long hair that requires straightening or curling like mine, heck no, right? Just so, that. if I'm, like, if I'm, if I'm panicking, I look in the... Thing and dry shampoo is not yeah, enough. Yeah. You take a half shower, you go like this, <laughs> sink, shampoo, condition, just and then part. this is all you have to worry about. Okay. And then you just style that, and that's as long fast. as the front of your hair looks good, oh, you're looking good. I haven't had a half shower in a long time, but I used, I used to be like a very... Tough. Yes, literally exactly. I used to do this all the time, all the time, and I was like, you know what, honestly, like, I'm so exhausted of doing this, but I still do it every once in a while, okay? I still do it every once in a while, okay? When you have a lot of hair, it's, and it's a lot of work to take care of, like, are you kidding me? Of course we're gonna do this, all right? Like, it's a lot of work. It's not my fault I have thick hair, okay? So my current, currently right now, I do not body, I do not shower separately, because I also don't have a bathtub. So before yeah. when I had a bathtub, I would always, like take baths so oh, okay. then I'm like really clean all the time. Okay. So right now I don't shower without a bath. Okay. In my, probably in the past like six months. Eight yeah. Months. Yeah. I, I don't know what this, I don't know about this. <laughs> I I don't know what this is. Uh, wait, but you do it every 48 hours. That's really good. Showers? Yes. Yeah. I, I have it on my like, calendar. Really? Yeah. I just start doing that. It's, it's gone to stretching to like 50 to like 60 because my hair doesn't get greasy as much. Oh, good. See, that's good because you yeah. shower less. I shower so then, less. So then it's. So it's today was like three and a half, four days, and I was yeah. like, dang. I think mine's. I think it's day three for me. Yeah. It's going. Yeah, you look good though. Like your hair's like fine. So? Yeah, your hair does not look. That, that's about like day three for me too. It's like, yeah. like a little greasy. Yeah, but like not, not bad at all. all. Yeah. And, and like, a little dry, well? a little dry shampoo. No, you're fine. A little dry cutie? shampoo. Fucking cuties, man. <laughs> <laughs> okay well can i just say one thing again can i just say one thing first of all if i interact with people i always shower okay always either i shower the night before or i shower in the morning before i'm gonna go hang out with them okay because that's the polite thing to do when you're in people's company okay the polite thing to do is to shower okay but if i'm by myself okay yeah sometimes i'm not gonna go multiple days you know it's not that i dislike showering it's that showering takes so much time and work and energy you know and i just don't want to do it i have other things to do i have more important things to do all right but like i try i try to shower daily okay on gym days i always shower okay on gym days if i go to the gym i come home i always shower no matter what okay However, if I haven't went to the gym that day and I haven't gone outside and I haven't done any physical labor, do I need to shower that day? I just don't know. Do I need, like, I don't know. I don't need to, you know? <laughs> like, I don't need to. 
It's fine. Yes? What? No. No. I disagree. I will say showers got better when I went bald. Dude, you're so right. I'm so... I'm so jealous of the balds. Oh. That's great. That's great. I got a shower. I sweat a lot. I mean, I sweat a lot. Don't let that stop you, man. There have been times where I have depression, especially bad. Don't really give a shit about showering, but now I'm into a routine every single morning. If you think about it, do we really need to shower? Do we? Do we? Sometimes shower three times a day. Three times a day? What? So we don't smell like shit? Those are your natural pheromones, okay? <laughs> Stop denying yourself. <laughs> To be clear, to be clear, I try to do my skincare every day. You know, I try to do my skincare at least once a day. So there's that. Like, I feel like I should get points for that somewhere here. Like, in terms of my face, you know, but like, do I really care if I'm kind of sweaty? Nah, I don't care. As long as you wash your sheets frequently enough. It doesn't matter, okay? It doesn't matter. And I wash my sheets, like, generally, like, once a week. So, it doesn't really matter. All right? You just go, <laughs> guys. Yeah, yeah, and you're you can, you're You so know they solid. have, like, hair, things you can just cover your hair. Huh? Hair. Like a hair net? Like, yeah, like, hair, hair yeah. covers. And so you can just shower without... Shower caps. Hair. Yeah, I've tried. It yeah, get, it gets wet. It gets wet. Yeah, yeah. yeah they, so they, 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 it does get wet. It does get wet. Um, this is the thing that I hate about shower caps. It doesn't matter how good your shower cap is. The corners of your hair are going to be wet. And when they get wet, they dry greasy. And that shit sucks. It really does get shower wet. Cap. Yeah, shower cap. Yeah, or shower you just cap. like I tried. go like this and you avoid. Uh, no, uh, well, I'll shower with my, uh, one thing I do is like, if my makeup is nice, have you guys ever done this? Just shower, wash your hair, but leave all of your makeup on. <laughs> Full face of makeup. That's and crazy. you just, you just perfectly line it up and just your hair and you come out and your face is Whoa, untouched. Oh, that's satisfying. But if you, but like okay, I've never done that. I don't know what type of setup Foodly got that she can be doing that. I, I, I would do that if I could. Like some days I'm like, my makeup is really good. Yeah. I don't want to mess this up, but my hair cannot go outside. Yeah. And a half shower will mess you up. So you got to go in and you step in and you, go, and you just line it up here and lean far, far back. And that's another technique. So you come up with all kinds of strategies to do the least amount of work possible. But sometimes you'd have to resort to a full shower. I might do the half shower. <laughs> I will say. Okay, okay, okay. All right. Uh, I don't know if I should be saying this, but I'm going to, I'm going to give away my secrets. Okay. For, since we're trading secrets, since the girlies are trading secrets, what I do sometimes, because if not for streaming, I would not take care of my hair nearly as much as I take care of my hair because my hair takes a lot of fucking time to take care of. First of all, it takes at least 20 to 30 minutes to wash. That's just in the shower. I know what you guys are thinking. Just go a little faster. If I do not thoroughly shampoo, and when you have this much hair, you have to thoroughly shampoo. If I do not thoroughly shampoo, my hair is going to stay greasy. So I've done it before where like I, I take some shampoo and I'm like for like five minutes and then I wash it and then I get out and it's greasy still. So I have to spend like at least usually 20 to 30 minutes, if not more, just on like the shampooing process because I have to make sure I get every corner. You know, I have to make sure I get this area is very susceptible to greasing, like this area, you know, all of here, okay? So that takes a lot of time, all right? And then, and that's, that's not even the rest of the shower, okay? And then I have to get out. And if I want to blow dry it, it takes an hour to blow dry and then about 15 to 20 minutes to curl. Okay. And if I don't do that, my hair kind of just looks like this. I'll try and find a picture. Uh, images. Let's see if I can find you guys a nice image that kind of, that's like, really shows you guys what it looks like because I know what you guys are thinking no it's just just shower and it's fine you don't need to blow dry it hold up all right can I get something a little bit better yes here we go dear this is wiggle dear wiggle 
this is what my hair looks like, okay? If I just leave it alone. If I shower and get out, it doesn't matter how many times I brushed it. It doesn't matter how, how clean I made it. When I leave the shower, if I do absolutely nothing to it, this is what it looks like consistently all the time, okay? It does not look cute. It does not look pretty. It just looks like a frizzy mess and it gets super, super tangled. Have you tried short hair? This is short hair for me. This is short hair. I, my hair used to be up to here. So this is short hair for me. I'm living very well right now with this level of hair. I'm trying to see if I can find like another picture that maybe is like shows it off a little bit better of like what I'm talking about. But I think this picture will do comb it. Long Combing hair it peeps makes rises, it flex 45 shower minutes flex or greasy. Redness as flex long hair peeps rise as flex 45 shower minutes flex or greasy. Redness as flex long hair peeps rises flex 45 shower minutes flex or greasy. Redness as flex. Okay. I have to say something, okay? Combing it makes it worse. Combing it makes it worse. It makes it puff. I have a photo somewhere of like what my hair looks like. Oh, I don't have my phone, so I can't even show you guys. I have a photo of like what my hair looks like. One day I'll do it for stream, okay? One day I will do it for stream. I will shower. I will not do anything to it. I'll go to sleep. I'll wake up. Oh, and this is the worst part. If I go to sleep with wet hair, I wake up and it's still soaking wet. Okay. And so um, one day, okay, for you guys, just for you guys, I will shower. I will go to bed and then I will wake up. We'll do a stream for it. Okay. And you guys will see brushing it only makes it worse. It only makes it worse. <laughs> no matter what you do, okay? It's very sad. It's very, very, very sad. Um, you have a Discord? Yeah, we do have a Discord. It's making me want to keep my hair short. I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry. I'm sorry to cause you guys stress on this. I apologize. Um. Anyways, anyways, anyways. What are we talking about? What are we talking about something? Have you thought about getting a hairdryer that sucks your hair in and dries it? It's like 400 bucks. I have not. And I don't know if that would work for my hair. I genuinely don't know. Oh, here. This is a good picture. This is a good picture. This is what my hair looks like if I try to brush it. <laughs> like when people be like embrace your natural curls just brush your hair this is what happens okay this is this is what happens okay and it's like no it looks good it doesn't look good stop coping okay just just stop it stop it so the only thing that works is like showering spending 30 minutes just washing my hair brushing it, making sure that it's, it's very, um, you know, like not untangled, getting out of the shower. If I feel like blow drying it, I will blow dry it. And that takes usually like 40 minutes to blow dry all of it. And then I have to spend like 20 minutes, if not more, 20 or 30 minutes, like actually doing this, having like nice curls that are very behaved, as you can see. Um, alternatively, if I don't dry it, I just wait for it to dry naturally over the course of like 12 hours. And then I take a straightener and a straightener takes me about like an hour, a little, maybe a little over an hour to take it from dry, which looks like this to this, you know? And so, yeah, of course I'm going to not want to wash my hair as often. Of course I'm going to, of course the girlies, when it takes you like almost two hours to do your hair. Yeah, you get pretty tired of fucking washing your hair all the time. Are you kidding me? It's, it's, no, no. So, it takes forever? Yeah, exactly. Um, there's a blow dryer brush. I've tried it. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. <laughs> At least it doesn't work on my hair. Maybe if you had relatively, like, thinner hair, it would work. But 
I can't. My whole life I've been sad that I have thin hair, but I think you've changed my mind. Like, listen, okay. People are always like, oh my God, you're so lucky you have thick hair. You're so lucky you just have natural thick hair and you don't never have to get extensions. Okay, this is cool and all, like having all of this. That's cool. But it takes so long. It takes so long. It's terrible. So I came up with a strategy. If Foosley, you're watching this, this is going to change your life. I've come up with a strategy that if I'm just streaming that day, I'm not going outside. I'm not hanging out with anyone. I'm just streaming. What I will do, because I have so much hair, because uh, like this is this is all of it. Let me, see, let me see. I don't know how to show it in a way that like really shows it off. It's just not really working. But anyways, I will take... Like, let's say this much. Okay. Like that. And then on this side, maybe like this much. And then, so like this is, let me see if I can do a full cam for this so I can show you guys. And then, so like this is the rest of the hair. It's hard to show. Maybe I'll just turn around and hope that it looks good on stream. My hair is greasy, so please leave me alone. So this hair, I put it away. Okay. And then I only do this hair for stream. And then I'll take like the frizzy stuff and I'll just put it like this. So my hair looks really nice, but the second I turn around, the rest of it is all really bad. Today I did all of it because I'm going to take pictures later. I have a shoot today. But... That has saved me so much time. An unbelievable amount of time. Oh my God. It's amazing. It's great. <sighs> Must be nice not being ugly. Listen, okay. It's a lot of work. Okay. And this is like the constant. This is why this is. Okay. Sorry. I'm, I'm chatting a little bit. This is why women roll their eyes at incels. Okay. <laughs> Who say, oh. It's so easy to be a woman. You just exist outside and people give you money. And it's like, first of all, no, that doesn't happen. Okay? No. Second of all, you underestimate how much work women are putting in to look the way they look. All right? Okay, shit is not easy, all right? You have any talk about skin routine? Honestly, I've started using this moisturizer lately and it's actually really good. It's like just like the ordinary like basic moisturizer. It's really nice actually. I've replaced my argan oil with this. Uh, a friend recommended it and I really liked it. As a guy with long locks, I understand, yeah, yeah. Uh, all girls have to do is wear a low cut top and bat their eyelashes. Nah, dude, you try it. It's, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and, and so, and it's, it's, you can't even win either, all right? And like the incel mindset, women can never win. It's either we're naturally pretty and our life is so easy because we're so naturally pretty or we use 10 pounds of makeup to trick men into thinking that we're pretty. It's like, what do you want us to do, all right? What do you, what do you want from us? What do you want? I'm doing the best I can, all right? It's hard. It's, it's a hard life. Uh, hold up, guys. I love these. Well, let me see if I can find it. I'm, try I'm trying to see. I'm trying to see if I can. Yeah, this is a good, this is a good, this is a good, this is a good short. I don't like makeup. I'm against makeup. I don't think. Okay, so. <laughs> It's cat. This is a YouTube short titled What Men Think No Makeup Is. And she's pretending, I think, to be speaking like a man here. I think it's good for women. And I don't think they really need to be using So it. quiet. I think it takes away. <laughs> Let me start it over. Sorry. It was really quiet. I don't like makeup. I'm against makeup. I don't think it's good for women. And I don't think they really need to be using it, honestly. I think it takes yes. away. <laughs> That's awesome. 
Dude, I mean, who is who are you? I think it takes. Oh, it's from a podcast. Beauty, and also, it is so bad for you. Like, you think about how skin absorbs things. When you read the ingredients on a foundation bottle, what is in it? You can't even pronounce it. It's yeah. a bunch of crap that you're putting on your face, and that is in turn making your skin worse. So you have to keep buying more foundation to yeah. cover up what is. And this is the perfect, 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 perfect show of what no makeup actually looks like and what people think no makeup looks like, you know? And this is why, oh, you leave your house without any makeup. It's like, are you tired? You look sick. Are you okay? And I'm not sure what the term is for it i'm trying to i'm trying to i would love to find out what the term is for it but i will say if you have like a little bit of melanin in your skin this is especially true for like south asians and for like mena people um your eyes naturally have this i guess like darker shadow around them I'm not sure what the technical term is. I'm sure there is a technical term for it. But it changes the way makeup looks on you. And it changes the way that you have to put makeup on. It's not like hyperpigmentation. It's more. The Palestinian eye bag curse. Yeah, it's like, it's like, I feel like my personal opinion, Arab people and South Asian people often get called that like they look really tired or whatever or they have like eye bags but that's just because of like the skin tone like the skin tone is just different there um if anyone knows what this term is i, I think per, oh wait peri orbital hyper pigment <gasps> yes oh my god you did it you found it oh my god i'm trying to find like a good picture Let me see. Pauser's champ. That isn't. I don't know what the difference is in some of these. Some of these pictures are like before and after, but there's no difference in the before and the after. I think this is a good example. I think this is a good example. This is this is, I think, a pretty good example. I don't like how close that image was. Um, but the you're under your eyes and like on the sides of your eyes and above your eyes uh, just have a darker tone. And because the darker tone exists, it makes you look like you have gigantic eye bags, even though you don't. And so like I get this a very small amount. I get this a little bit. And so when I'm applying makeup, I'm like I basically only apply makeup one area, which is here. I just do this. And then I put a little bit here. I don't apply makeup anywhere else, really. Because I don't have the energy to do a full face of foundation. I'm sorry. I'm a really lazy. <laughs> As evidenced by the half shower, I'm a very lazy person, okay? I don't got time for all this shit. <laughs> so you have to like... It, and it takes a long time to get the makeup that looks good on you. That looks like... That enhances the way you look without looking like too cakey. Finding the right brand finding a look that looks good on you like I had to try a million different eyeliner looks before I settled on this one which I think complements my features you know does that take you one hour <sighs> no my makeup only takes me 20 minutes you know um my dude thank you so much for the seven months thank you because it's like listen okay I want to look I want to serve okay I want to be cunty all right I want to eat I want to leave no crumbs, all right? But sadly, all of that requires a lot of effort and work. And I don't want to put in the effort and work. I want to play video games, okay? I just want to be hot and sexy while I'm playing video games. <laughs> Is that so much to ask? <laughs> Is that so much to ask? <laughs> okay, we'll just, well, we're gonna... It literally took me a decade to find a foundation that actually matched my skin tone. And this is something every girly goes through, okay? You've got the period of time where you're like, 
wearing a skin tone that's like, or sorry, skin tone. You're wearing makeup that's orange on your face. <laughs> you're wearing makeup that's way too light for your face. You're wearing makeup that's really cakey on your face. It takes forever to find something that works with your skin tone and that works with your skin texture. And it literally took me a decade, you know? So wearing someone's skin, not hers. Mm -hmm. All right, let's finish this clip. And then I'm very excited. To be honest, the only thing I've planned today is to watch the Jay Aubrey video. I've got like a couple other things, but I don't really think that that's, we're going to have the time for it. So I'm just really excited to watch the Jay Aubrey video. So let's finish this and then we'll move on. Shower hat. Try that. Yeah. I'm not yeah. kidding. Half showers are amazing, especially if you just get greasy right here. Yes. It's yes. bad. But also my hair texture it's changes based on if my hair I'm really concerned about your body. Oh, oh, right. Oh. Great. Yeah, we're, we're fine. What about, you're telling me. today, it probably wasn't great. If you... Like, I'm not to get like too graphic. If you're on your period, you uh -huh. shower more than. Oh, I use um uh, like um wipes. Not, okay. <laughs> like 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 um <laughs> like you know uh, like you know and uh, yeah. It's well, not I fine. Think the past, with periods, so. I will definitely like feel a little more gross doing that stuff. But yeah, like, yeah. It's I shower a little. More. Yeah, it is. It's not like great. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> say. I think I think I think I think for your bodies. Mm -hmm. Hear me out. I All right, I cannot stand by that statement okay that 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 i will not defend <laughs> that no no i will say one thing okay which is that for the longest time okay i would shower every day during period time because i'm like mm -mm. no it grosses me out i'm just like it's like marinating, Ugh, you know, I don't know. I gotta, I gotta shower, I gotta clean. It's just, it, it, and it's less that it's actually gross because it's just like a normal body function and it's more like a mental thing where I'm like, ew. Ugh. And so I, I, I would shower every single day until I got like a bidet. And as you guys know, I'm a big bidet enjoyer. Um, and I've got like the hose bidet that looks like this. And so now, now that I have the hose bidets, I don't mind. LFG. Not, I don't mind maybe showering every other day because I'm like, I can just hose that bitch down, clean it up. You know, it's sparkling clean and then I'm good, you know? Candy Cane, thank you so much for the nine months. Thank you. And Gabba Ghoul, thank you for the tier one. Thank you. Thank you. And I will say it's the same thing with like gynecology, gynecologist appointments. I would go to my gynecologist appointments. I would have to shower before I went because I'm like, oh my God, I need, I, I, I'm not going to go to the gynecologist all sweaty and shit, like cooking up a meal down there. No, I'm going to shower. Okay. That's the polite thing to do. Now I just bidet because it, it does the job. It basically does the job. So I, I'm a big bidet enjoyer. <laughs> Okay. I'm a big bidet enjoyer. Duty Plop, thank you for the prime sub. Thank you. Thank you. It's like it's like a half shower for your body. All right. So and yes, this is a bidet that takes like literally five minutes to install and it's like $15 on Amazon. If you don't have one, you're fucking up. You're fucking up for sure. All right. It's I can install it, okay? I don't know the first thing about fucking plumbing. If I can install it, you guys can install it, okay? A butt shower, if you will. The best invention known to man. We'll finish this video. I think bodies, everyone's different. Yeah. This is like not, <laughs> we're talking about our own schedules here. Yeah. I think for bodies, I personally like just like moving my head away from the shower head and, and I, like, I like to shower every day, personally. But like it's not for everyone. I get to it. Their own, to I get it. Everything. It's kind of weird. Way too much time. It's so kind of weird. Work. That's so much work. Yeah, yeah, that's but I, I get it. It's I'm I'm the I am the weird one here. Yeah. Uh, I like to make them very clear. <laughs> um, for sure. So it's like you guys sound like you got it figured out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do you have a whisk by chance, or do you just have this? Huh? Oh, whisk. Like a whisk attachment? Oh, I see. Uh -oh. <laughs> okay, wait. I had a. <laughs> Uh, traveling sucks when you uh, get used to your bidet at home. They sell like traveling bidets and technically- I convinced my parents to buy me a bidet two years ago, but they're so useless and never got it installed.
This tissue is tearing me to pieces. I'm telling y'all, I'm telling y'all, bidets. It don't matter what you got down there. You need a bidet. You need one, okay? It is game-changing, life-changing. It's just, it's, it's, it's amazing, okay? All right. I get so sweaty so often I couldn't afford to not shower daily. Like, I feel like I don't get that sweaty that often, you know? Anyways, thank you for the 14 months, Gold Rhapsody. Thank you. That's enough about this. That's enough talking about this nonsense. Let's get into something we can all agree on. Okay? And that is... How much we hate just pearly things. And how much we love Jay Aubrey. 